All right, what's up, guys? JR here. It is Tuesday, um, April, not April. Um, give me one second. I'm trying to figure this out as I'm doing this. It is um, Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. And sorry about that. I just wanted to demonstrate this failed break. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but this is looking like a pretty nice setup. We had a failed breakout out of the range. Nice second entry short with a relatively bearish bar. So I wanted to go ahead and record this if I can catch that. And um, yeah, so it's Tuesday, May, t May the 12th, 2020. And um, yeah, I just felt like demonstrating a trade. I wasn't planning on making a video, but I caught a pretty nice short right here earlier today and a uh, pretty decent runner. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch all that because I dragged my um, I dragged my target all the way down here. Give me one second. Let me just focus on this because I'm getting distracted trying to talk about this and think about this at the same time. But let me go ahead and mark this trade. So this is a failed breakout out of the range. Basically, we have a trading range right here. Let me make this smaller. And uh, we had a failed breakout of the lower end, failed breakout of the upper end, and there's a second entry short right there with a pretty bearish bar. Usually you're better off to wait on a lower high, but I like this setup anyways. Um, we have trend line working up, break, new high, first entry right there, pullback, second entry, relatively bearish bar. Good ways away from the EMA. You broke out of this. I feel like this should at least be good for a scalp. Let me tighten my stop. I just realized that's all the way up in the middle of nowhere. So, um, yeah, so we'll see if we can get this scalp. And then hopefully we'll, we'll catch the high and we can ride this back down to the lows. Let's drag that down there. But uh, I'm just going to go to pause for a minute and then I'll be back when something happens. Alright, so this is a bit of a lower high right there. We went out of the top of this bar, turned back around, and it's looking like we're going to uh, break out of the low of that bar. So we're touching our target right here. All right, so it took a little bit. I had it paused. We just popped through that. So let me go ahead and put my stop to break even plus one. We might not get this runner here, but um, just in case, I know this is kind of a bit of a, a reach, but we'll see if we get that. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate the failed break mainly. Um, you're usually better. Okay, so we just got stopped there. You're usually better off waiting on the lower high, which was right here. Uh, I probably wouldn't have taken that one. I like the way this set up more than this, but um yeah this was kind of just a spontaneous thing i wasn't really planning on making a video today but i got a really nice short right here and i figured this is a good opportunity to talk about two legs so clearly we have one leg up uh two legs of correction in there and then a second leg up and basically you're looking for an, a retest of uh, the low from this move down so after you have that two leg correction you have a first entry long right there pullback second entry long it's a bit of a double top failed break out of the bottom this is congestion breakout pullback you get a nice bearish signal bar good place to go short i had a nice runner on there except for i was i dragged the i dragged the target all the way down to these lows i should have been targeting this low right here so i had about four I think four points and some change in profit and I gave it all back so that kind of sucks but it's all good as long as the scalp portion worked out and this was a beautiful trade and we kind of chopped around had a failed break out of the low right there you might have considered going long uh, it's not really a second entry long but you can kind of treat that similar to one and then we basically had a strong move up break of our trend line push on up to a new high you have a first entry short pullback second entry short I like that one right there for the failed break and I'm thinking we're going to come back down inside this range because clearly this was a um, pretty decent range so usually these breakouts tend to fail and um, I'm hoping we come down here and test these lows we might not because clearly we have some support stacking up across there but I don't want to make this video too long I just kind of wanted to demonstrate that trade um, yeah I'll pause it I have two so far I'll pause it and I'll see if I can get one more today if not then this will just be the end of the video but um, yeah all right, it's about 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Um, this video is pretty spontaneous, impromptu, so um, let me just quickly recap everything that I said. And, uh, yeah, we'll call it a day and get this thing uploaded. So first trade I took today was this beautiful short right here. Pretty much we had a strong move up in the overnight. We turned around and reversed right after the market opened. Good strong move down. And uh, you have a break of your trend line right here. You have one leg up, a two leg correction, a second leg up. Then you have a first entry. Let me make this bigger. 
All right. You have a first entry long right here, pullback, second entry long right there. It's also a breakout pullback to test this little area of congestion. Turn down with a nice bearish bar. That's This is a perfect setup. Drop straight on down. Unfortunately, I had my target stuck down here for the runner, and I had maybe, I think, four, four points and some change in there as a runner, and it came back and stopped me out. So I let that go. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate. You go sideways, <clears throat> go sideways, Failed break out of the bottom right here. That's a nice long. And then uh, you move right back up. Break of your trend line. First entry short. Second entry short. Failed break. Took a little bit, but it ended up working out. Kind of have a bit of a two leg correction right there. And then you get a second leg up. And then a first entry long. Second entry long. That fails. If I did a nice uh, bearish bar, that would have been a nice short right there to go back into the range. And then you kind of push right back down. And now we're just chopping sideways. So that's pretty much it. This wasn't really in my plans for today. I'll come back and make another video sometime this week, and hopefully it'll be better than this one. But I saw this, and I wanted to demonstrate the failed break. And since this trade worked out so nicely, with the exception of not, with the exception of trying to go for too much on the runner and not taking it off at these lows, which clearly you can expect a bounce right there because this is the next previous level of support. So this should be your first target. This should be your second target, essentially. So I should have locked in some profit on that, but... It's all good. So um, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I don't know how long it is because I don't really look at the time while I'm doing it. But that's it. This is JR, and I'll see you guys sometime this week. And uh, take care.